Yo, what's going on guys? It's Echo Kill Shot and welcome back to a brand new video, a brand new reaction video. Today, uh, I'm going to be reacting to Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Suicide Squad Insider Episode 3, Introducing Elseworlds. This is like post-launch stuff, uh, DLC, pretty much continuation of content from, uh, from, from launch, I'm guessing. We already know about that Joker, uh, joker land kind of dlc that's going to be coming and you know I'll, I'll give my thoughts after this this is an 11 minute video so i don't want to waste too much time but if you guys are new to the channel please go ahead consider subscribing for more reactions more reviews more content in general it would really help me out a ton and uh yeah let's go ahead and get right into it computer activate the threat assessment matrix I like that, uh, All right. that outfit from Toys. Captain Boomerang. There's a lot of good outfits in the game, man. We can work with that. Hi, I'm Darius Sadigian, studio director at Rocksteady Studios. In our last episode, we talked about how Suicide Squad Kill the bit. Justice League allows players to customize each character and their play style through story-driven mechanics. Ma'am, if you gave me five minutes in there, you'd have the world's authority on microtech and all my inventions. Aw, he's so sweet. <laughs> He's not gonna make it. The Suicide Squad gave us the scope, the narrative, gameplay, and then the idea of being able to expand that, be able to take this further. It's gonna feel completely fresh. Yeah, I mean, from the Batman games, to it's totally new content at no cost. Definitely gonna feel fresh. The Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. We're back in business. All right, let's steal this shit. Today we'll discuss <laughs> customization options that draw from the full spectrum of DC Comics. You'll see emotes, rival taunts, outfits, and more. We wanted to have a game that was very focused, but this time we really want to expand out with being able to dynamically update, add new content, take on feedback, and evolve the game over time. For the first time ever, we'll give you a preview of what's to come after the credits roll on our main story campaign. We always Sick. designed the game in a way that we really wanted it to be Sick. accessible for everyone. And for those players that want to delve even deeper into our gameplay and into our systems, it really is about delivering new places to explore, new worlds to be in, new stories, new characters. That looks crazy. The set pieces for you to play. Insane. The content you love. Speaking of, what are you doing, mate? Mate. I'm smiling. Let's dive into <laughs> Suicide Squad Insider Episode 3. Sick, man, sick. I pre-ordered the deluxe Welcome edition of this game, so I'm going to be playing on the 30th. From the onset, so I'm excited. Squad, Athena Squad, felt like the right fit for the kind of game that we wanted to make. You get to play with friends, you get to play on your own, but while you are playing on your own, you're playing with the squad, always. Every aspect of our games, we always look at it through the lens of Rocksteady's treatment. And that just doesn't stop at gameplay, that doesn't stop at story. When we're looking at the social features that we've really introduced into Suicide Squad, it has Rocksteady's approach. What do we think players will have fun with? This game has the mechanics to play kind of socially competitively, like none of our games have previously, and it really fits the characters of the squad. It the does. They're all competitive. The competition within the Their squad characters. to show off your skills, show off your medal, be the best one. <laughs> I'm a freaking superstar. The squad are working together under duress. And so it's fun to add in mechanics to encourage the players to behave in the same way. So a lot of the time, what you'll actually be doing is trying to get the highest score, which luckily helps you all complete the mission. But the best player in any mission becomes the squad leader in multiplayer for the next mission. Wow, that's sick. We have leaderboards for solo cool. play, for playing with one friend, two friends, or a four-player squad. You're wow. competing with everyone across the world. Cross-platform, it is the best of the best. Think your hot shit on ties, but you're cold fight on bread. <laughs> I can't wait to play as Captain Boomerang. He looks like the most fun traversally. I like his uh his mechanics. There's some really fun incentives for playing together as well as playing competitively. You can use the equipment that other players have equipped on their characters in your squad with the AI playing as the characters. Yeah, I heard about Those this. Those players whose bots you use get rewards 
for you using those bots. And that's a really fun feature that I think the players will be incentivized because they'll get something out of it. Yeah, so if, like if you're playing with friends, you can progress their characters yeah, the as well. Like if they're like friends or AFK or something. Is also playing the game and you beat their score, when next time they log in, they'll get this kind of funny quip just to show that, oh yeah, by the way, I beat you. Home run, baby. That's funny. You boot up the game, cool. you're logging in, and then all of a sudden on your screen you get Boomerang giving you the finger. That's sick, man. That's how you open up the game, like, oh yeah, by the way, great I beat you. System. You're allowing players to kind of communicate in different ways, really in playful ways. As Rocksteady, as creators, this was another opportunity for us to really engage with our characters, extend the narrative. It looks like Star-Lord there. Choices with a very cinematic Whoa. eye. Through the game, we all customization. Oh my outfits. god, that outfit player, looks you start sick, off dude. in the prison, you get your prison garbs, and then you evolve to the Task Force X outfits. Yeah, right. I was thinking something more fashion forward. The outfit customization in our game is uh, vast, to say the least. Yeah, I can see that. Wow. With this game, Rocksteady will deliver a full story-driven campaign to players, including more cinematics than any previous Arkham game. For players who survived the war against Brainiac's forces and want to keep the adventure going, Rocksteady is ready. We very much knew we had a story to tell initially, and then we wanted to carry on uh, feeding into that, and then changing up the gameplay to have a game that was going to evolve through post-launch content. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is going to be one of the most generous, player-friendly, post-launch experiences available. Hey, you there know what game isn't player friendly? Baldur's Gate 3, so there's gonna be a different thank you, developers, for this um, player friendly. Love it. By a DC villain. So there's many, many layers of influence from the DC world on how you play and what you do. The seasonal content gets automatically dropped into the game each episode. There's wow. no playable content locked behind a battle pass, and the in game shop is for cosmetics only. You'll always be able to go back and play the episode of content. If you want to come back six months from now, that'll always be there. This is a totally player-friendly approach to letting you play the content you want to play when you want. The DC universe is massive, and in most games, you can only see or explore a tiny, tiny piece of it. But what's really cool about the narrative of Kill the Justice League is there's almost no limit on where we can go. Celebrating the fall of the game. Yeah, because so they're always adding new stuff. They're changing the, the, the open world. Code. Brignac has been experimenting with some of our favorite DC characters' DNA, creating new worlds in alternate realities. It's these worlds that we call Elseworlds. Yep. Brignac is a genius. Oh man, that's gonna be sick. Intelligence. Uh, but he's also Jason trying to Isaacs. rebuild the civilization that he misses and is lost. And it's Brainiac. There is nothing he won't do to get there. Wait, that's that's Lucius Malfoy, isn't it? I'll have to go back and look at that's cool if it is. It's all gathering data. I will unlock your full potential to serve me. God, just the world, like the detail, like Ace Chemicals, like everything. have just diverged at some point. We've got lots of amazing characters that, coming man. up in seasonal play that I'm really excited for players to meet. And the Elseworld principles gives us lots of flexibility and lots of room to put our own spin on them. So we get to play with a bunch of cool shit from alternate universes, and then what? Retire? When season one launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad, the Joker. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> the original Arkhamverse Joker has been. What is that voice? Years, but this is Sounds like Ezra Miller. It looks like Ezra Miller. He was part of the Suicide wow. Squad in the Elseworld that he's from, which already shows that he's slightly more cooperative than the previous Joker we've had. But as you get used to him and actually play to him, you realize he's unhinged in a different way. Not only has he got to figure himself out, but he's figuring out his place in this new world and this new squad. He hadn't reached supervillain status before Brainiac invaded, so, you know, he's still a bit less experienced. I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. But deep down, he's not sure who he is yet. Lock him up. Oh, making new friends after a move is always tough. 
As your mission expands deeper into the lore of the DC Universe, this new version of the Joker will join your fight with his unique combat, traversal, and weaponry. His traversal is all based around a rocket-powered umbrella, which he can blast himself into the air. Wow. And then uses that to pull That looks crazy. Flip that down to grind along buildings, knocking enemies out of the way. Dude, I like that. And My the kind of goodness. frantic vertical and horizontal energy that he has means you've always got to be moving and always attacking the enemies. Yeah, so it keeps you active. Finishers the also look really good. The first of the new squad recruits you could meet through the ongoing additions to our game. Over time, we can build up a library of characters that DC fans might not have expected to see in a video game, like a regular comic book release. I look forward to when the next issue is coming out. And in the same way, I hope people will look forward to the next episode from us. Whatever it is, I'm down. New environments, new characters, missions, challenges, gear, and more. Look at that, All of this man. free content comes for players who own the game. We can't wait for you to see what the future holds. Sure, you could say it looks like a Fortnite map, but it How looks sick. Like that? Thanks for watching this series. We hope you'll join us for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, a third person action shooter where some of the wildest villains of DC Comics join forces to save the world from its greatest heroes. <laughs> no, no, that's mental. We're not doing that. God help us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think players are going to be surprised about the depth to which they can craft the character. It comes back to player choice and player freedom. Everything from melee strikes into gunplay, which you could then go into a traversal attack. All of the combat moves flow seamlessly into another. The squad can be garish, they can be loud, and playing together with your friends in a multiplayer space is a really unique experience that you can't get anywhere else. What we've done with the Suicide Squad is to really expand those experiences. Not only just one character this time around, we've done it with four and we plan to do it with more. This brings back memories of my old Suicide Squad. Whether you're in for the main story or exploring what lies beyond, Rocksteady Studios is here to support our players while delivering exciting new experiences. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you at launch February 2nd, 2024. January 30th for me. Oh, man. Look, man. Hey, everybody's saying that the game looks bad or this is not Rocksteady. You got to understand, if you didn't know this, Rocksteady started out making shooter games. So, you know, obviously they'll always be known for the for the Arkham games. But it's really cool to see this, this different, this different kind of vibe, but also still kind of the same in terms of attention to detail and lore. Uh throughout the surrounding environments uh like like in the arkham games i'm super excited now you know more than ever for this game uh i'm, I'm excited to jump in i'm excited to you know play with all the characters with their play style unlock outfits uh upgrade guns and stuff you know and they said like you'll always be active you'll always be moving you know so you know i i don't really see how how that could be a bad thing I think people are judging this game way too harshly. We just gotta wait to see, you know, how the how this game is gonna how how this game is gonna drop. How's it gonna work for everybody? But you know, seeing a little bit of Joker, and then you know, they're obviously gonna add more and more characters that you can add to your squad, which is just awesome. And I really hope this is not like a Marvel's Avengers situation. I hope it doesn't die. I hope it you know keeps on going. It keeps players active and stuff. And I'm sure it will. Uh, this is Rocksteady, guys. This this isn't, you know, a, a a company we don't know nothing about. Okay, this is uh same people that made some of the most beloved uh superhero action games of all time. And to see them doing something different, we shouldn't take that as a negative. We should uh we should take it with a grain of salt. And come February thirtieth, February thirtieth, January thirtieth, or February second, uh. We're, we're going to get to see how that plays out. I'm super excited. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see you all on the next one. Peace out.